morning everyone, it's Dave Sacker from Successful Baits. Um, I've just turned up at the venue I'm going to be fishing for the next 48 hours, which is um, Floatfish Farm, and I'm fishing Sand Lake, which is one of their two specimen lakes. So uh, I'm just going to get the gear unloaded and uh, show you the swim. Right, so this is the swim that I'm going to be on, this uh, Peg 3. Um, obviously I chose this swim because one, it's quite nice and open, you haven't got sort of any overhanging trees. One of my favourite swims is just over there, which is Peg 4. Um, but as you can see, the, the willows on either side are really starting to encroach into the swim, which um, causes issues obviously when you're trying to cast and you can't get much of an angle as to where else you want to fish. Whereas this swim, I can fish obviously straight out to the island there, which is one of the hot spots so just off the corner uh, I can fish to the back of the uh, back of the lake along the far margin um, you've got peg two just down there which is uh, sort of has a nice large bay and they can also fish to the island but my plan is to fish one out by the island there possibly one out the back I'm gonna have a bit of a lead around um, see what's see what's about and then I'm also going to feed up the margin spot just down here because I've had fish from there before as well and just throw in a few handfuls of bait see if I can get them f comfortable feeding on there and then I'm Right guys, I'm all uh, set up, um, sails set up, the rods are out, the uh, rest of the swim is a bit of a state at the moment, but I'm just going to have a sit down, get some lunch quickly, um, it's quite warm out here, I think it's sort of, must be 16, 17 degrees, so after running around getting the bivvy and everything set up, it's a bit toasty, so I thought I'd have a, a drink and something to eat, but you can see the rods are out. On the two spots that I'd said about, so I've got one over by the island in the distance on the left there, and one right at the back of the spot over by the tree you can just see on the far distance. So, uh, yeah, we shall see how things go, but I'm just gonna have a bite to eat because I'm absolutely starving. So I've managed to um, get the rest of the swim cleared up, got the bivvy all set up and ready to go. Uh, there's not been any signs of any fish anywhere on the lake at the moment. Nobody's as all of the pegs are taken up at the moment, and nobody's had any beeps, runs, anything like that. Um, I've been watching the lake um, most of the afternoon. It's now quarter to five. And yeah, there's not been any any real signs of action as yet. Um, we shall keep our fingers crossed um, and wait and see what happens. But hopefully, as I said, with it, a lot of the bites have been coming in the evenings and overnight. Um, judging from the reports that have been been posted online, so uh, hopefully in the next couple of hours things will start to wake up. 
and we'll get some fish on the bank. You can just see, obviously the sun is setting, it is quarter past six, as is always seems to be the case on this lake. It gets to this sort of time and the wind just completely disappears. This is when we can really start to see all the fish showing on the top. Hopefully start getting some action soon. Nobody on the lake's had anything so far, so Talking of which, mostly just small stuff, but every now and then a, a carp tops out. That is basically where I've got one of my my left hand rod. There does seem to be quite a lot of activity going on over there, so hopefully, not too long, we shall get something out. There was a guy over in Peg One uh, on a 48 hours when I got here. He's just, well, he finished up and he actually came over and said he had had 10 carp out just by that tree, which is coincidentally where I'd just cast my right hand rod. And he said the other ones he had out were just off the island there. So my one is just off the edges of those reeds just in this patch here right morning everyone it's about half past six um, haven't had anything in the night did get very cold last night um, bit of a reminder that it is we are actually still in March and Everything is frosted up. So I haven't had the best night's sleep. I did have a couple of beeps on the left hand rod, but there's been no, no fish out. So, uh, not what we'd hoped for. When I woke up this morning, so I woke up about 10 past six and the entire lake, I couldn't see basically, it was just a big misty mess. You can just see it's still a bit on there, but it's just starting to clear now, but it did get very cold. But it is March, so has to be expected, I guess. Um, just to prove a point, <laughs> it is cold. I really wasn't expecting it to get quite that bad last night. The forecast was saying four, five degrees. Frost on the car, frost on the bivvy and the cradle. 
So yeah, I don't know exactly what temperature it did get to, but it was certainly cold enough to do that and uh, keep my head buried underneath the duvet for, or under the sleeping bag for most of the night because every time you stuck your head out, it was freezing. <sighs> Gonna get the kettle on, have a coffee, and uh, think what to do for the next bit. I think the spots are good. I did see fish topping on them overnight. As you can probably see, the um, the sun has definitely come out. Everything's it's quarter past ten on the Saturday. Everything's starting to warm up quite a lot now. Um, and I've seen quite a few fish out on the top by the edge of the island just milling backwards and forwards so I've actually put a zig out on the right hand rod um, hopefully we can uh, catch something off the top if they're not interested on the bottom uh, I've left the left hand rod literally just off the island um, on the bottom and we'll see if uh, mixing up the tactics can get one out for us Right, so we've got one in the net. It's just gone 10 o'clock and we have been finally rewarded with this lively £16 mirror. It's taken a while but we got one. And that's come on the successful baits VNX. So, let's get the rods back out and see if we can get another one. <laughs> 